Hi y'all, this is Jennifer. Um, I just want to give an update on my garden really quickly. Um, this is November 21st in the fall. Um, so we've got right here, we're going to have broccoli and there's some plants popping up. I um, directly sowed them, so it's going to be a minute, but um, so that's this whole area right here. Back there, I got some cabbage. I already had those growing for a while. I just transplanted them. The strawberries are still going with the kale. This is garlic onion. Got my carrots coming in. They've been in here for a while. Um, this tomato plant I just left because it's a cherry tomato and sometimes they do okay in cold but really um it's not cold but uh cool and it's been cold so it's probably not going to produce maybe it'll live through the spring um so I signed up for a chip drop and they actually uh canceled my order on my chip drop because I guess they didn't have any chips. I had ordered it in September, maybe before. Um, and so they ended up canceling it. So I ended up ordering another one. What chip drop is, is somehow they're connected to local people who are cutting down trees or are mulching and have mulch that they need to get rid of. And so you sign up for a chip drop and then they bring it to your home. They drop it off. You don't know when it's going to come and you don't know how much. You just let them know what you don't want in your garden. And um, they'll try to not put that in there. And then you usually agree to take some logs, which is fine because I need logs for pot dust to burn and put into my garden. Um, and so here I got some randoms. I think broccoli, parsley, basil, trying to hang on. And these are some peas, green peas I got. They I have sugar snaps right here and right here doing really well. I just harvested a big old bowl. Um, so I want to plant some regular peas, which are right here. It's only six plants, but I'll end up planting like 100 plants. Um... I don't this I kind of just sew things and then see <laughs> my okra is like not happy out here in the cold never had okra don't really care for okra so that's okay but I'll probably try to grow it in the spring um kale some lettuces um lettuce and these are radishes ready to go <laughs> really fast um, I have a crap ton of marijuana plants popping up, which I'm not going to save. We don't need those. Um, I don't know how so many seeds got in the ground, but they're literally, like, popping up everywhere. It's so weird. Like, these are uh, green onions. And uh, the broccolis coming in. I got my dragon fruit still doing pretty good. Um, and so this is the new bed. This is where my sweet potatoes used to be. I harvested a huge thing of sweet potatoes for me, really. I guess it was only like, what, 20 <laughs> or something? A few Some little ones. So I've been eating those. Plants. Yeah, and it was just like a really an experiment. So it did good. So next year I'll do it at the right time and then we'll get a better harvest. So I have broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and I'm going to do a row of beets here. And in through the broccoli and Brussels sprouts, I will do some leeks. Um, and that's it, pretty much. I got jalapeno plants still putting off super bunch of jalapenos. Like all summer, all year, this jalapeno plant's just happy. I planted some parsley back here. It's really happy. Apparently it likes shade. <laughs> Learning these things. So what else we got? This is my chip drop. Um, big fucking pile. 
It is uh, seven yards. Yeah. And it is amazing what they gave us. It's full of mycorrhizal. It's hot. Mm. You almost burn your hand touching it. There's steam coming off of it. Oh, Ryan, get down, get down. Get so down. it's a pretty big pile, but I'll be able to incorporate it into the garden as we go. Um, I might end up putting some out here in the front of our house. Maybe get rid of some areas of grass that we don't have to mow anymore. Um, we need the grass for the chicken coop, but we all, we use bedding too. And like grass is okay, but you, we like to use other stuff too. So um, I actually planted a piece of my raspberry plant that I ripped out right here in the front. So I want it to turn into a big, huge bush. Um, cause it's too invasive for my garden and it just takes up too much area. Um, but I love the raspberries. They're so good and it grows so well. So, uh, this is, that's why this is a cutting off of it. This is a cutting off of it. And I have another clone back there in the backyard that I took to. And, um, my original plant died, but actually there might be little pieces of it still alive, but we had to rip it out because the greenhouse is up now and we have the garlic grove, so um, it's it's worth it and I'll, I'll just regrow the plant. They grow super quick and uh, you have one for maybe two years and you're going to have a huge freaking bush if it's in a sunny spot. So the neighbors just built this fence. Um, I'm not going to... Um, I planted it kind of a ways away from the fence so that I can always keep a bear, um, a space between my raspberry bush and their fence so I don't fuck their fence up. Um, my niece, my baby witch niece, she's the baby witch like me. Um, except she don't like to eat vegetables, so we're gonna have to work on that one, huh? <laughs> And I so happen to be having a yard sale today as well. But we're getting all this in the backyard. Kids are having fun playing on it. And eventually this whole area is going to be covered. We'll have too much to cover. So um, we'll have to find a place to put it. Or and my dad's going to pick some up and put it um, in my mom's yard or whatever. So it should be fine. Um, the chip drop, I don't get to choose how much. I don't get to choose when. So what happened is um, <laughs> I was on my way out of town and I was getting this weird number from Alameda, California. And I was like, I don't know this number. So I didn't answer it twice. And then <laughs> it ended up being, I was like, you know what? I thought it was maybe someone I know that was um, just got out of jail, so I was like, oh shoot, I better call the number back. And so I called it back, and it ended up being chip drop. Good thing I called it back. Um, so he told me I have eight, 16 yards or whatever, and I was like, well, can you drop half? And he was nice enough to drop half. He doesn't have to. So if you sign up for a chip drop, just know that, um, it is what it is so hopefully you have enough room for the chips or also they say it's good um it's good to put chips in your yard so you can go around and ask your neighbors if they want some like it's not the end of the world i guess if they drop it off um and it's too much like you can figure it out unless you have roommates that don't like that shit or whatever so um anyways just update i don't have my gopro I was gonna GoPro my chips, but I guess I'm gonna just use my phone again. And um, here's the greenhouse. Got some stuff in here. Um, got some tomatoes still ripening in here. <laughs> my dirty hand. Mm -mm. Yummy. Um, I put some of my other plants in here. I have my, I was calling it um, asparagus for a while, this plant, and it's a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, artichoke. <laughs> but this thing just woke up. This is its time of year. It loves it. It's starting to look healthy, happy. I thought it was going to die for a while in the summer, um, but now... 
happy and healthy. Like, it's literally growing by the day. So, maybe I'll have some artichokes. I'll eventually put that into the ground because they last more than a year. So, I wanted to have the best possible. I don't know how they do with transplants, though. So, we'll see how it reacts to that. But everything's an experiment in my garden. So, it's okay. And if I do something wrong, um, I would love the comments. And so, if you like my my stuff like subscribe and let me know where you are if you're close to me if you're in 9b or 9 and if you have any tips all right peace